you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Over the course of this campaign, I will offer plans to rein in excessive risks on Wall Street and ensure that stock markets work for everyday investors, not just high-frequency traders and those with the best or fastest connections. I think it would be very difficult for her to, to follow through, given her dependence on Wall Street for financing, the way most Democratic uh, um, candidates have been dependent on Wall Street. She didn't outline very much specifically about what she would do about Wall Street. She shied away from a financial transactions tax, for example. Uh, she didn't talk specifically about ways to reinforce Dodd-Frank um, uh, the, along the lines that uh, Elizabeth Warren talked about. Uh, so I think this is going to be tough for her to, to break away from. Uh, in addition, uh, she uh, hasn't really come out very strongly in terms of the uh, trade issues, which are very important. I mean, if she wants to do something about inequality, she has to fundamentally do something about the trade trade deals that Obama. Yeah, she said something about Nancy Pelosi should be more vocal in her opinion. I mean, it's a very sort of ambiguous response to the TPP question. Is that That's right? So I think it's good that Bernie Sanders is going to raise this issue and force her to, to deal with it more directly. And so what do you think the end result is going to be? 2016 is, you know, coming closer. She's going to have to reconcile sort of that very vast difference between getting tens of millions of dollars from Wall Street and then on this other hand trying to pull from the popular, more populist leftist uh, movement in the United States that wants to see more pressure on Wall Street. What, what do you think is going to happen? Well, she's going to try to w walk the fence the way uh, all the Democrats typically do, uh, talk left and do right when they get into power. So she's, that's been the formula for Democrats uh, for a long time. So she will talk more uh, populist, more leftist, uh, but I, I don't think it would have a lot of credibility on these Wall Street types issues.